Hi, I'm Grant Jensen. Welcome to my lab. I'm a professor of biology at the California Institute of Technology and an investigator of the Howard Hughes Medical Institute. One of the most important things we do in my lab is cryo-electron microscopy and 3D electron microscopy. Cryo-EM allows biological samples such as macromolecular complexes, viruses, or even whole cells to be imaged in a near-native frozen hydrated state sometimes to near atomic resolution. Imaging macromolecular complexes by cryo-EM often leads immediately to dramatic new insights about their structure and function, especially when they're imaged in their cellular context. As a result, sometimes a few good images is all that's needed to discern between different models for how things actually work. So like the famous late Caltech physics professor Richard Feynman once said, it's very easy to answer many of these fundamental biological questions. You just look at the thing. In a growing number of cases, cryo-EM is the best way to look at cellular and molecular biology. Unfortunately, there isn't yet a good place to find all the introductory information needed to get started in this field. Most of us learned it through personal interaction with mentors. In fact, for the past 12 years, I've just been teaching new members of my lab one-on-one -on -one and in small groups as needed. But now I've organized most of that material into a logical sequence and recorded careful explanations of it for anyone who wants to learn. There are two things I'd like to emphasize. First, this class focuses on concepts rather than mathematical details. I explain how and why with lots of pictures and drawings. Second, I start from the beginning, so anybody interested in cell biology should be able to follow. It is for beginners, though I hope experts will also find new clarity, new perspectives, and new ideas for their own teaching. The goal is that by the end of the course, you will have learned the basic anatomy of electron microscopes, the basic concepts underlying image formation, the kinds of sample preparation methods that have been developed so far, and the foundational concepts and workflows involved in electron tomography, single particle analysis, and electron crystallography. I've enjoyed pulling together my knowledge on this topic to share with you, and I hope you find it valuable in your research and education.